Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to model our decimal numbers with multiplication. So we're going to use these place value blocks. Okay, now up here it says the little block is 1, the grouped together is 10, and then all together is 100. But in fifth grade we can also use these to represent decimal numbers. So in this model today we're going to use the square block as the one whole. Okay, so then when we break it down, I want you to think of like a hundred pennies equal a dollar. So there's a hundred little blocks in here that equal a dollar. Well, we can also break it down into groups of ten. So we could get ten sticks from this one hole, which is why we can call this stick right here one tenth. Okay, so think of it as like a dime, ten cents. And then if we went back and broke this whole thing down into the little bitty cubes, you would have a hundred of them. So think of these as like pennies, 100 pennies. So that's why we can call it one hundredths. Okay, we're going to start with the first problem to be two wholes times one and two tenths. So when we're looking at multiplication and modeling it, we have to think about how are we going to model our decimal numbers. So multiplication is basically one of these numbers being repeated the other number of times. So in this case, we're going to use our whole number 2 as the number of times we're going to show 1.2. So remember, this is our one whole, and then we're going to have two tenths to represent our first number. Well, that's only one time. So our problem says that we need to have it two times. So I'm going to repeat that picture. And then we can find our product, which is our total in our multiplication problem. So if we count this up, we have two wholes, which is two whole blocks. So we're going to write two wholes, move it over here as our answer, two wholes. And then we have, let's count the tenths, one, two, three, four, four tenths. So that's how we get two and four tenths as our product. Okay. Okay, so what we've done for this next problem is I have 21 hundredths, so 0 and 21 hundredths times 3. So 3 is going to be our number of groups. As you can see, I've already kind of separated them into groups, and 21 hundredths is what I'm modeling to be repeating. So all I need to do now is come up with my total, because multiplication is just getting all of it together because it's repeating. So let me count my tenths. One, two, three three, four, five, six. So I have six tenths. So I have no holes. Oh, apologize. I have no holes and six tenths. And then my hundreds, one, two, three. So I have three hundreds. So my product here is 0 and 63 hundredths. So if I were to count it all up, it would be 63 hundredths. Okay, last problem here is going to show how regrouping come, becomes involved in some of these problems. So the last two problems we've seen did not have any regrouping, which made them fairly simple. So this is where we kind of get into a situation where you have to be careful, and that's why these blocks make it easy to understand what's happening. So we have 42 hundredths three times. So I made three groups of 42 hundredths. So if we count them all up, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 tenths. But remember that 10 tens make a whole. 10 tens make a hundred and we're trying to get to a whole. So I'm going to move my twos out of the way over here so you can see what I'm do what happens and this is where the regrouping is where some of you guys do it in your head and it's pretty simple but I want you to be able to see it with the blocks so if I circle all of my big blocks right here and then I want them to group I end up getting one hole and then one ten two tenths okay so what i've showed you here is when we put the blocks together it represents one whole and 26 hundredths which is what our original problem was just put together and the regrouping done for you to see 